This is the action tree, but the settings what I'm going to explain counts of course for any other action camera as well. So the first issue what people are not happy with is motion blur. Yes, there is a lot of motion blur when you are going to film with one of those cameras in 24 or 25 frames a second. It sounds crazy because other big cameras doesn't have this problem at all. If you're wondering what the issue is, it is because those little action cameras does have a very small sensor and bigger cameras doesn't have. And I do really understand why people want to film in that frame rate. It is because you only get that cinematic feeling when you are filming in 24 or 25 frames a second but there is a solution and first of all I'm going to show you right now my footage and yes it is in 25 frames a second Let me know in the comments down below what you think about it, what you have seen. My opinion, I think it's just perfect. No motion blur at all and everything stayed so crystal clear. Sometimes I do think that those little cameras now these days are just filming too sharp. Did you notice the bigger trees that were standing so far away in the background? You even could see the little branches. And this is the solution guys, film everything in 50 frames and go to export your video in 25 frames. But at least this is how you can keep that beautiful cinematic feeling that you want to have in your footage. Now let's talk about the second issue, low light. Those cameras start to get really popular that they just buy it for going vlogging. When it turns out they go filming at night, they do have a lot of distortion, even the stabilization is not working perfectly and it's just cause the settings are not set up correctly, of course. And something I need to mention, and this is just for the Action 3, when you just buy it, of course, make sure that you update uh, with the latest firmware, but also go to the settings and change the recording codec from HEVC to H264, because HEVC is a very bad codec for filming at night but yeah you cannot blame on some people because not everybody does know how to set up one of those cameras of course and with a small sensor like i mentioned already many times um, it makes a little bit more difficult and this is why i'm doing this video but if you're wondering if you can vlogging perfectly at night with one of those cameras check out my footage i placed my dji action camera on the top of my zve 10 and this is why you're gonna see a little bit of the lens sticking out <laughs> on the DJI action footage, but you're gonna be amazed. Check it out.
Let me know your opinion, what you think about everything, what you have seen is coming straight out of this little guy here actually both cameras because i haven't done anything in the video editor the sony uh, alpha camera scores of course a little bit brighter than this little guy here but uh, hey it does have a image sensor that is 10 times more smaller than one of those expensive cameras and i have filmed it with the original lens if i should put another lens with a lower aperture then yeah the sony will definitely blow this little guy away but i decided decided to use the original kit lens to keep it fair of course here we go guys and of course i can explain it for the dji action 3 how to go into the settings if you have another brand of camera it might be a little bit different to go into the settings but try to find it out it cannot be so difficult you need to go to the basic settings then you go switching to the pro mode this is how they call it pro mode which actually means that you are free to change everything yourself at the right side you do see the iso settings you have to set it on iso maximum 1600 i don't recommend it for iso 3200 only when you are filming inside your house you can try it out because there is a lot more light of course inside your house but uh, I noticed from all the tests when you are filming on ISO 3200 that you lose like a 20% of sharpness on your footage and this is something what I don't like but if you don't mind you you can yeah test it out what you like ISO 1600 or 3200 but I think the best option is 1600 and the second thing what is important what you actually don't need to do anything about just check it out if the shutter is on automatic time to end up this video here and i just hope that i help it out a lot of people that were struggling with their action camera i feel free to subscribe to my channel of course i used to do toy reviews gadget reviews and also more stuff like this is coming up so all right thank you for watching guys and i'll see you on the next one then bye bye